guys welcome back to the playboy jordan youtube channel so we're going to unbox and re um, review the 0.300 aac blackout so with this channel we're going to unbox and review every uh chamber and caliber of rifles we've done 762 we've done 556 we've done 223 we've done 308 and now today we got the 300 blackout and as you can see this thing is sweet you see the customizations we got on this gun it's a black it's the theme of this gun is black punisher as you can see by this magazine Say so, all right. Before I start talking about the history of 300 blackouts, their military use, I'm gonna first talk about this gun. So, as you can see, the muzzle we went silver on the muzzle to get that black punisher thing. We got the forward grip, we got this from Academy. You can get that anywhere. We got two mags for this firearm. We got a scope, that scope is sweet on it. Get y'all, get y'all scope for this. We got the charge handle, charge handle. We got this as well. Let me take this out so y'all can look inside that bad boy. Alrighty. Let y'all look inside that. Wee! That thing is sweet. So as I was saying, this right, if you I'm pretty sure everybody that's watching this video already knows about guns, but just for some people that don't, this releases this button right here releases the mag. This lets you look inside the barrel, which we just showed y'all earlier. This the, the firing pin is in this area of the gun. Now this is where the safety and firing is. This is the handle, the grip, the, the, the stock for this. You got where the stock is. You can release it, pull it back. If, you know. So now we're gonna talk about this firearm. So the history, the 300 AAC black, blackout can also be known as the 762 by 35 millimeter. Most people don't even know that, that this gun is, can also be classified as, by that. It was developed by USA Advanced Armament Corporation for use in the M4 carbine. You know, we got the AR-15, we don't got the M4 carbine, but the original use for the 300 Blackout was for military use of an M4 carbine. But you know, this is gonna be uh, adapted for civilian purposes. So, you know, the AR-15, you know, everybody, they're gonna put that in everything. You know, people love AR-15. It's one of the most popular rifles for people to own. The cartridge yields increased performance in shorter barrels and effective subsonic performance for silencers use when compared to 556 millimeter NATO. This, 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 the first design of a 300 blackout chambered uh, firearm rifle was designed in 2009. Production started in 2010 for 300 blackout firearms. This is, we have 20, 220 gain bullets inside this mag and the velocity for the 220 game is 310 meters per second and the energy is 675 joules. You, the also popular uh, grain is 125 grains, which has a velocity of 675 meters per second and energy of 1,840 joules. They were pr primarily developed for M4 and M16 rifle uh, designs, but you know, like I said, they made them for AR-15s, everything else you could find. So now we're gonna talk about the military purposes for this gun and when they were issued and what military used it. So in July of 2015, the Netherlands Defense Material Organization issued a tender for 195 carbines chambered in 300 black on behalf of the Dutch Maritime Special Operations Force, NLMARSOF. And they used this for quite a couple of years. They loved it, you know what I'm saying? They got rid of it in the present day. They don't use this in the Netherlands, but they used it for a short amount of years. On, July, on 14th of July, 2017, the UK Ministry of Defense issued a tender for a five year plus five year optional contract to supply 300 blackout su supersonic and subsonic small arms ammunitions for their military forces. We don't have the subsonic and supersonic ammunition, but that's what the military used in the Netherlands and UK. But now, you know, we're Americans. We want to talk about Americans. So I'm gonna show y'all, tell y'all how and how long the Americans used the 300 blackout for their military purposes. In May, 2022, the United States Special Operations Command selected Sig Sawyer to develop its MCX Rattler personal defense weapon, which can be chambered in both 556 NATO and 300 blackout. As you know, there's a current problem with Sig Sawyer in America right now for production and reasonings. We'll get talk about that or do your research in the video. There's going, there's a little trouble going on with Sig Sawyer. The performance, man, this thing is sweet. We got videos of firing this bad boy and I need y'all to go look into my channel if y'all want to see the videos. This is just an unboxing and review of this bad boy. But throughout this channel, we got videos of me shooting this thing 
So the only potential hazards that can come with the 300 blackout is since the bullets of the 300 blackout is larger than the bore of the 223 caliber, chambering and firing causes excessive pressure to build up, which can dirty your gun, cause it to jam and stuff like that. But to build up since the bullet has nowhere to go, it'll jam up sometimes. So that's the only problem you'll get with this gun, which can cause the rifle to explode, resulting in risk of energy if you keep trying to trigger it. It can explode on you so be careful if you're going to buy this gun make sure you, you pay attention when you're shooting if it stops don't just keep pulling that trigger make sure you know check that um check that chamber make sure that bullet comes out reload it fire it again clean it make sure you grease and oil and clean your guns at all time so just make sure you take care of gun uh gun shooting guns is important it's fun but it could also be dangerous and hazardous so there's flaws there, there's perks and everything with this so this gun life man Hey, it's a great thing to do, but also always practice safety. But as y'all can see, we're done talking about this beast of a gun. And I like the design, man. We went black Punisher with it. You know, we had to. You see 300 blackout at the end of the mag. That's what them big boys look like, man. So, man, like, comment, subscribe, and tell me down below if y'all would buy this gun. Or if y'all already got, got this gun and just want to look up reviews on it and see how other people liked it. But me personally, I rate this gun a 7 out of 10. Me personally, uh, there's AK, there's AK-47s that I really like. There's other AR-15s I like. I like. I, I personally, my top calibers was five, five, six, uh, regular seven, six, two, and uh, so this is also considered a seven, six, two. I like the three hundred eight blackout. I also like the three hundred, but it's a great gun. Seven out of ten is a great score. Five out of ten is average for me, so seven is great for me. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more bangers.